Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna go over does offloading an app delete it? It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now I'm gonna walk you through the steps of offloading an app and walk you through exactly what it does and doesn't do, what it deletes and what it doesn't delete. So let's head into our settings here and then tap on general and then iPhone storage. Now I can just choose an app, let's choose TikTok, and I'm gonna tap offload app and offload it. So what this does is it deletes all of the core app files from that specific app, in this case, TikTok. So it does delete those app files, but it keeps all of your specific data, like your drafts, your messages, your profile, It'll keep you logged in, all that stuff, but it will delete the app files and the cache from that specific app. So you can see I still have documents and data of three, 632 megabytes, and that is all of the information for my specific account. However, it's removed that specific app data. Now, if I hop out of here, you can see TikTok is still on my home screen here. It just has a little cloud icon next to it means that it's been offloaded. So I can always just tap that and you can see that it will then install the app files itself. And if I go back into settings here, you can see that if I go back on into TikTok, it will show once it's installed it, now there's an app size and a documents and data in addition to it. And I can go back into TikTok and it works the same as it normally would if I never offloaded it. So essentially it does delete the core app files, but it doesn't delete any of your personal information related to that app. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time today and I'll see you on the next one.